We do want to tell you now about an interaction between Cleveland Heights police and a driver last September. Uh, that's in the headlines tonight. What started as an officer allegedly almost hitting a bystander's car resulted in that bystander being put in handcuffs. Neil Fisher tells us how the situation escalated. What crime did I commit? There's no crime. On September 22nd, Demetrius Kern was placed in handcuffs and issued a ticket for obstruction after nearly colliding with an officer. We almost did get into an accident. It started as the officer pulled over another vehicle, allegedly almost hitting Kern in the process. Give me another unit because another party does not know how to yield to uh, lights and sirens, and he's sitting here reporting me saying they almost ran him off the road. I didn't approach her, I didn't approach her car. I said, I want your name and your badge number. That's all I request. It escalated after the officer's supervisor arrived and told Kern he would arrest him for not showing officers his ID. Kern says he wasn't involved in the traffic stop, therefore he shouldn't have to identify himself. You violated my rights, man. Are you getting a ticket for interfering with the traffic stop? How did I interfere? She almost ran me off the f***ing road. And you could have pulled off and waited and called and called. I did wait when she said wait. Things ended with Kern handcuffed and being issued a ticket. He told 3 News he's concerned with the department's policies. Are you going to do the right thing? Are you going to let your superior tell you to do his dirty work? How far will police go to back each other up? How far when one knows the other one is wrong before the other one stands up and just say no? The mayor of Cleveland Heights has issued a statement saying in part, quote, Executive oversight of the Division of Police must become the standard in Cleveland Heights. Kern told us he doesn't believe the mayor's statement justifies the supervisor's actions. He shouldn't have a badge because the, the fact that he has a, the rank that he has, it makes you know that what he does is a culture, right? And the city has been complicit by promoting this man. The prosecutor dropped the charges against Kern 11 days later. Now Kern has hired a lawyer and told me he needs to pursue legal action against the city of Cleveland Heights. Christy. All right, Neil Fisher, we appreciate the update. Thank you.